Let me ask you, I mean, where will renewable power fit in? Let's assume that you're right, and by 2030, 50% of India's power comes from solar, from wind, and from hydro, the three put together. Of that 50%, how much do you think renewable power will be? What would be your market share? Yeah, so let's let's leave out the hydro part because that is already those capacities have already been put up, right? And a lot of those are owned by various public sector companies. Of course, there's some in the private sector as well. But I don't see a lot of new hydro getting built out because hydro A is expensive for new capacities. It takes time to build out and there are there are various construction issues. So I doubt you'll have a lot more new hydrogen hydro capacity getting built out. Now, as far as wind and solar is concerned, we have so far been uh, having about a 10% market share of the total capacity. So of the 100 gigawatts, we have approximately an 8-9 gigawatt uh, capacity, and we've been winning market share at about 10% for the last several years. So I would say that if I, if I just sort of fast forward that number, it is quite conceivable for us to have that same percentage uh, by the time we get to 2030, right? Or it could be a little bit more depending on how well we're able to implement, how the market shapes up, and so on. So I would say that's really where we would like to be. And given the large size of the market, you know, this uh, additional 350 gigawatts that we have to set up of wind and solar capacity will require almost $300 billion of total investment. That's a big number. And uh, I think it's going to be beyond the ability of any one company to be setting up large parts of that. And so therefore, I think, you know, having a reasonably good market share of that, that, you know, that we have right now, would probably be something that would make a lot of sense even by 2030. I also see that you know the big guns are getting into this business in a big way. I mean, Reliance bought REC Solar for $771 million just the other day. Uh, the Adanis are interested. Tata's are getting in in a big way. But as you say, the market is very large. But do you think you would have access to capital to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with these people who have far greater access to capital because of the industrial groups that they represent? Do you think Renew will become, remain a significant player in the solar business or in the wind business in the next decade or so? So then that's obviously the, the big uh, million dollar question from our standpoint. And of course, from our standpoint, we intend to be one of the big players in the industry even going forward. And the reason for that, reasons for that are, are multiple. I think the first is that you know it's not just about capital. It's also about expertise. It's also about capability. And I think, you know, we've been operating in the sector now for the last 10 years. Uh, that gives us a tremendous amount of knowledge about the industry. It gives us a tremendous knowledge about how uh, wind capacities work, how solar works, uh, how they both interface with each other, how to come up with solutions that combine different sources of, uh, of energy, renewable energy together, along with storage. Uh, you know, so we've built a number of capabilities in those areas that I think will stand us in good stead in the future. Uh, the second thing is, you know, as a company, we've raised almost $8 billion of capital in the last 10 years, right, from a startup situation. Now we're a reasonably well-established company. So there's no reason that we can't raise, you know, multiple times of that over the next 10 years. And so therefore, if you look at the plans that some of our, uh, you know, our big competitors have laid out, we are not going to be that far away from them just in terms of total uh, capital that we are likely to be able to invest over this time period. At this point, the ability of thinking a little bit innovatively, thinking differently uh, because of our understanding of the power markets uh, in the country uh, and so on. And you look, know, this is the only business that we have. And so therefore, we're going to make sure that 100% of our time is devoted to this business, whereas all the other guys have multiple other businesses to that as well. So will you be focused mostly on India, Sumant, or would you, do you have international aspirations? Because, you know, in 2008, you were the chief operating officer of Suzlon, and, you know, they did, they bought Ari Power, they bought Hansen. It did not work out for Suzlon uh, quite as well as they might have thought it would. But would you want to go down that path, pick up international assets as well in wind and solar? Yeah, so then let me answer that question a little bit more uh, broadly and say that there are a number of new areas that are opening up in our sector. Uh, green hydrogen is the most obvious one. Uh, storage is another one. Uh, there is the whole area of mobility. Uh, at some point, the power market in India will get opened up on the distribution side. So that's something that we, will, we could be looking at. Uh, on the transmission side, you know, now or more or less all the transmission that is going to be built in India is going to be to service renewable energy assets. Uh, that's a market that we've now bought into. We won our first bid 
on the transmission side recently. Uh, and, and, and so there are many different kinds of opportunities that, that we have at this point in time that we are ex in fact examining very seriously. International is one of those kinds of opportunities. And we'll obviously look at the international markets very seriously. In fact, we are. And, um, and I think we'll take decisions as we go forward. Uh, but the point to make really is that this sector is not just about setting up wind and solar assets. It's really broadening out a lot more. Uh, the energy markets are opening up. They are going to be the next big growth opportunity in India. And I think we as a company now being one of the biggest power sector companies in India, uh, you know, across both conventional and renewable, uh, puts us in terrific position to take advantage of some of these opportunities, uh, both in India as well as outside. So to answer your question, yes, I think we would be looking at markets outside India as well. You touched upon a very important point, Sumat, and I was going to come to it. I mean, this Electricity Amendment Bill of 2021, it has some really radical kind of proposals that, you know, uh, new private companies can actually compete with legacy discoms, that consumers can actually choose their distributor. Do you see opportunity as a company at Renew Power with these? I mean, are you going to uh, actually participate in these things if they were to come about as proposed? The proposals that have been made in the Electricity Act are actually phenomenal. And it is very critical and very urgent for the government to actually pass the Electricity Act uh, because that actually puts choice in the hands of consumers. And of course, states will not be happy with that because it'll, it'll mean that they lose control. Uh, but I think in the interest of developing the Indian economy further and in the interest of uh, the consumer, I think that is something that we must do. Now, in addition to that, the Electricity Act also has a number of other very positive features. So all in all, I would say the Electricity Act amendment does need to be passed very quickly uh, by the government. Uh, it's going to be very positive for the sector as a whole. And I think will be, you know, will actually almost take the entire Indian economy onto a different trajectory. Now, would we as a company participate in the, in the distribution sector? We definitely would consider it very seriously. In fact, there were a couple of privatizations that happened of some union territories, and we did try to participate in those. Unfortunately, we didn't win, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a part of the uh, power sector that we definitely want to look at very seriously.